Good morning, children. Sheila, ma'am, for your EVS class on Friday, and this is a class for first and second. Children, I'm noticing that only five or four children are giving the homework. Children, this homework and the class online is very important. We don't know how you are watching the online because we are sending the lessons to you online. But are you watching? We'll only come to know if you do your homework. So when the school further promotion for the next class, if we don't get your homeworks, then you are not getting promoted. You will be getting in EVS a red line. So please do send your homeworks on time. And EVS class comes on Friday. You have two days holiday that is uh, Saturday and Sunday. So you can submit at least by Monday. But I am noticing children that you are not submitting. At least if you all submit, only four or five are submitting. So those children are getting, I will give to the class teacher, uh, first and second teacher, your EVS report. So please see that you do the homework. If there is a holiday, I tell and announce it in online that you have a holiday and the homework will be scheduled next commencing Friday. So let's go back to your classes. Children, before I send, uh, go to the next topic. Today, your chapter for the next lesson goes, but your last time's Friday, last Friday, your class uh, was not uh, given the, we have not taken the class, so there was a small missing of your assignment homework. So today, for the first standard, you will be given this, this lesson. And this page will be given. You have to name them. What are these plants? And also, the next page, you have some drawings. You can draw them and color them. Okay? And also, you have to write what you have, what you have recognized in this particular drawing. Whether it's an apple, whether it's a tomato. And you should write it's a fruit or a vegetable. Okay, so these pages will be given to you and uh, you have to do it in your homework notebook which is given to you, uh, four line books and submit. Please do write your name on the top so that I can know this child is submitting and I make a record. And for the second standard, we are going, I wanted to, I'll be giving you for you to see these question answers. Page number 21. This is animals what you have studied and I will want you to know whether you know the uses of these animals. Okay, so these are the things which will be sent to you. Now we go to the new topic today for you. It is about plants. We had studied about animals. Now we will look into today's topic, the next lesson. Yes, children. So the next topic we are going to study is plants now plants you must have seen around children in your garden in in uh, uh, the trees which is on the sides of the roads around you you must have seen different kinds of plants trees and you also must have seen how they are useful to us so the plants are very used to useful to us children without them we are not nourished by nutrition, isn't it? So let's look into the plants. Now we have parts of body, right? We have eyes, we have ears, hands. You have studied and you will be studying furthermore. In the same way, the plants are also having their parts. And each part is very important in their growth. You must be thinking, oh plants, we are taking fruits, we are eating. No, we have to give them also children, the sunlight, the water, the manure. And they also breathe, plants also breathe, they need air. So last lesson we have, uh, last uh, class you must have studied all this. So just look into the parts of the plant, both a small plant and a big plant that is called tree will also require all the things what we need. Now look at the parts of the 
plant. Now the plant which have weak stem, they grow on the seasons, they are small, they are called small plants or they are shrubs or herbs. But the plant or the seed or the plant which is growing big, large, they are trees, they are termed as trees. Now look at the parts, they all have the same part. Now a small plant will grow from the roots. Then as they grow, they come out with the sunlight, water, they come out and they have the stem. Can you see the stem children? Same way there too, but there, this is a small plant, it is stem. Whereas when you have a, when the roots and they come up, they have a thick stem, they are called trunk. They are called trunk. You must have seen on the uh, roadside those uh, thick uh, trunks of the trees. So they are called trunk. Then we have for the small plant leaves. Can you see? They will be thin and different shapes of the leaves are there. So they are leaves. And here we have for the trees, leaves spread out. Okay, they have the leaves spread out and those leaves will have seasonal fall and seasonal growth. Then we have children, flower. Same way the trees also have flowers. I told you seasonal, they will have the flowers and from the flowers they get the fruits they give fruits small plants also have flowers and they get uh, vegetables they also give us uh, some of the fruits and some of the vegetables and some of the leaves are used as medicines which will be study next so see the parts children so then you have to also write fruits. If you can, you can draw here some fruits like mango and write fruits. But you see the leaves, then trees have branches. Trees have branches. Okay. So you have to write, you can draw this in your own way. These two and practice at home their parts. Very important, you have to learn the parts of the plant before we go. Now, let's look into the lesson, very important children. We, what do we get from the plants? Some, I said you, some plants are seasonal. So we get seasonal fruits, seasonal vegetables. We are having here the uh, Tomato has a seasonal vegetable. Here we have the peas. You love peas, right? Mommy makes pulao. So these are only two I have brought it to you. But there are other plants which are seasonal. The cauliflower. Then we have different roots. We have uh, chilies. Chili, you know, red chili and green chilies. So all these are plants which are very useful to us you love to have potato for your breakfast it comes from plants you love to have a tomato soup it comes from plants so all the nutritions are there in the plants next we see the fruits now fruits your children you must eat fruits too fruits have lot of vitamins Vitamin A and vitamin B, D, E, all the fruits are very useful to you children. So do not miss the fruit if your mom gives you. Now we here I am showing you only two fruits but you know mango comes in the mango season. Goa comes in head season. You have apple, then you have oranges. Now let's look into the orange. This is orange. Now you must have seen orange also. The, it grows in season and we have some areas like you know what they need is a soil so the soil where it is uh, with, where it is helpful for the growth the oranges are grown there then we have the coconut see coconut tree is very common you must have seen in the houses of 
uh, your locality so this is a coconut now in coconut also gives a lot of useful things with coconut we have the coconut water the fruit of the coconut okay the water what is given in the coconut inside is useful for you when you are drinking the coconut water it cools your system and helpful for your energy level then we have the coconut uh, you get coconut when you peel out the outer layer you get the fiber today eh, those fibers are used to make gunnies you get those fibers we make bags and so many other things okay and uh, here the leaves are also useful children coconut leaves they are taken out they are made broomsticks and thatch roofs in the locality of the village you can see these uh, leaves are dried and they are used for their roof and also we use these leaves uh, for uh, burning some of the houses in the village they use for fire so see how many uses the plants are giving okay now we'll see children the medicine part of the plant see how plants are used in various ways now these are the small little plants and in some houses i've seen tulsi most of you must be seeing tulsi and also nowadays the doctor says take tulsi with a tea or with um, some herbs like um, mint or something and you make it and it is good for health yes children these herbs are you know there are see you see here mint is there this you must have seen which call we, we call them as in hindi pudina i don't know in local language what they call but they are in the in, in hindi it is called pudina so in english we say mint we have rosemary there and here also we have a lot of other herbs which is basil and these these are available in the market in your uh, food stores or even if you go to the vegetable stores not in the local market but in the supermarket so these are the leaves you can see of different shapes plants are also having different shapes children trees have different shapes now they are shapes and their looks you see the leaves even the smallest plant have different shapes you can see the leaves how small they are but they look so pleasant they look and they are useful so the tulsi is very indianized uh, plant which is very helpful for all of us if you have a tulsi they say it is good for your health for cough cold and other things it is ayur ayurveda now we go to the children um, this parts of the plant and we have to study the parts without them uh, we cannot go far further your homeworks will be sent please do it have a great day thank you